But first tonight, the breaking news involving former President Trump. Here in New York City, a judge ruling that the former president committed widespread fraud. The judge determining Trump lied for years about his net worth by inflating the value of his real estate portfolio. The judge finding the evidence so overwhelming, they don't need to go to trial. The former president accused along with his two eldest sons, Don Jr. and Eric. Among the properties the judge found they inflated, his Fifth Avenue apartment in Trump Tower by as much as $200 million, and inflating the value of Mar-a-Lago in Florida by nearly $600 million. In bringing the suit, New York Attorney General Letitia James had accused Trump, his sons, and his business of overstating their net worth by as much as $2.2 billion, duping banks, insurance companies, and business partners. Tonight, the judge deciding the evidence is clear. So now what? ABC senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky leading us off tonight. Tonight, a judge in New York has determined former President Trump committed systemic fraud, lying for years about his net worth by inflating the value of his real estate portfolio. The fraud was so overwhelming, the judge decided there was no need for him to even hear evidence or testimony at a civil trial set to begin next month. The judge found Trump inflated the value of his Fifth Avenue apartment in Trump Tower by as much as $200 million by claiming it was triple its actual size. Trump said Mar-a-Lago was worth up to $600 million when the judge said the Palm Beach estate's assessed value was no more than $27 million. The judge agreeing with New York Attorney General Letitia James, Trump overstated his net worth by as much as $2.2 billion duping banks, insurance companies, and other business partners into giving Trump, his eldest sons, and their family real estate business better terms than deserved. Trump has consistently denied wrongdoing and has attacked the attorney general and her case. But tonight, the judge rejected each of Trump's defenses, calling them bogus and deceptive, and saying at one point Trump's denials were straight out of, quote, fantasy world. This civil trial is scheduled to begin next week, but at this point, David, all that's really left to determine is how much Trump is going to have to pay in penalties. The state attorney general's office has asked for at least $250 million, and the ruling tonight is already severely limiting Trump's ability to do business in New York, possibly even forcing him to sell some of the buildings that bear his name. But, David, just a moment ago, late word from his attorneys, they plan an immediate appeal. David. Aaron Katursky leading us off here tonight. Aaron, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.